Welcome back to another Training the Street Excel shortcut. My name is Daniel Hofstein, and today we're going to talk about color coding, a great way to help anyone quickly understand your Excel file. Now, these are pretty common at most large banks, but you can use color coding in any fashion that everyone in your team agrees with. But we're going to talk about just sort of these most common items. Blue is what we traditionally see used for inputs. This means that if you wanna go and update or change a model, these are the only items that you should be messing with. Boy, does that make an impact on being able to understand a model very quickly when you know where all the inputs are or anywhere that you should or could be manually changing. Anywhere in black, black, these are calculations and references on that same schedule or worksheet. This is your standard Excel sort of everything. Every little thing that you're doing, all those little calculations, should be coming in uh, in that black color code. The last one that I really want to discuss is green. And this green, or references from another schedule or worksheet, we see an example over here. Because when Excel, uh, we see an example over here where it is coming from sheet number one. We notice that it is coming from sheet number one because it has the exclamation point. And the way that Excel organizes this, says equals, and then it assumes that you're going to put in something like a destination or location. If it doesn't read anything like an exclamation point, then it doesn't worry about this left-hand part that we see down here, which is essentially saying, grab this sheet name, and then on that sheet, here's the cell reference. So green lets us know that this is coming from another Excel reference. Black shows me there's a calculation on the same sheet while blue is where we're gonna put in any of our inputs, anywhere that a human coming to update this model, whether it's change the historicals because we're moving forward a year, updating the assumptions or drivers, this is the place to be. Just as a quick example, I would like to show you what happens when somebody sends you a model that looks like this. And in this model, nothing's been color coded. Everything is just straight in black, which makes it incredibly difficult to see. I wish whoever had created this thought about their future self a little bit more. But luckily, we can do something. We're going to do our little trick, our little finding inputs with this F5 followed by Alt S O X or Shortcut 24 if you've ever attended one of our classes. Let's do this real quick. I'm going to do F5 for this go to special menu. I'm gonna to go to this special dialogue with Alt-S. From here, I wanna find constants. What's a constant? Anything that doesn't start with an equal sign. I only wanna find numbers, so I'm gonna deselect everything else and hit OK. When I do this, it has highlighted everything that's a constant, anything that's essentially an input. And from here, I'm just gonna change my font color to blue. And so now, already, this is a million times easier to see. If I also wanted to find anywhere that was coming in from another sheet, I could do control H for my find and replace. Now I have some previously uh, items set up here. What do I really wanna find an exclamation? Replace it with an exclamation, but I do wanna change the formatting. And so I'm gonna change this formatting to my standard green. You can pick any green you like. I'm also going to eliminate any of that fill color. So I want this to be no color. I'm gonna hit okay. When we see what our looking for, I'm going to find anything that has an exclamation, replace with an exclamation, and when I replace, change the formatting. From here, I'm just going to hit replace all or alt A. Ta-da, they replaced them all. And now if I'm looking at this model, it has gone from all black to a model I can really understand and start to digest. And I know here, if I change my sales growth, that should update my sales. Let's test it. Wonderful. It looks like it's working. And just as a note, we do have these other assumptions down here for our cost of goods and our SGNA. The only assumptions we don't have here are my depreciation and amortization, which must be coming in from another worksheet. I know this was a big one, but color coding, it really saves you and your teammates a lot of time. This is maybe the most important aspect of creating your Excel files and working with a team is color coding appropriately. My name is Daniel Hofstein. Thank you all so much for being here. Looking forward to having you on for another Train the Street Excel shortcut.